What's good guys, it's your girl Keisha Ariel and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be talking about my two years lock update with my two strand twist starter locks. So let's get right into it. Okay, so my last update about my locks or anything to do with my locks in particular was my 12 month lock update video which I will link right here for you to go and check out. And I haven't actually um, uploaded anything else regarding my locks since. And in today's video, we are going to find out everything about my locks in the past year or second year of my journey. Now, when I started my locks back in 2017 with the two strand twist, with a two strand twist method, you know, I actually liked the sizing of my locks and everything like that. And as my locks continue to develop, I was loving the thickness of it and everything. It was plump, love it. But I realized that as the years have progressed, and I noticed this around um, like after the one year mark, I noticed that my locks didn't seem as thick and I felt like, I don't know, this is just me thinking that possibly um, the braids like, you know, squished my locks and took away the plumpness. I mean, that's what I'm thinking, but I don't know because prior to that, I liked the plumpness of my locks. Like even in that video where I was talking about my hair growth update, my one year um, hair growth update, you know, I actually liked how my locks looked then, but like ever since, um, putting the braids in and taking them out I'm just like I don't know I don't know if I like how my locks are I mean a lot of people say that it's still thick in their eyes but in my eyes I'm like they don't look so thick so you know I'm just a little bit like hmm so I can say what in my lock journey I've noticed as the years progressed or the months progressed you know my locks itself don't look as thick as they did say around a six month mark seven month mark well within the first year I actually liked the size or the thickness of my locks within the first year but year two I'm like what the heck is going on like this is this is different and with the locks seeming to you know be shrinking it seems like my sizing my parting seems to be shrinking in my mind that's just how it looks to me but I have to say when I look at my lock count video it don't look like the sizing is off it's just the locks that seem to be like shrinking and I just don't understand that now I understand that um, as your locks start to form um, it gets more um, tighten like it tightens together but mine's just like it's just lost all the plumpness i just don't know i don't know i don't know why that happened but i thought i was on the road to thick juicy locks when i had started my lock journey back in um 2017 so during my second year i have learned something about my hair that i have not um that I didn't understand. Now I spoke about, um, you know, the fact that my locks, when I started it, it seemed thick, but now as it progressed, it seems like it's got like smaller. It's not as thick as I thought they would have been by this point. And, you know, I learned a lot about my hair during this time, like this second year, you know, when I observed that my locks weren't as thick as I thought they would be. And, you know, I'm thinking to do a separate video on this, on the reason why I believe my locks um, grew the way they did. So I'll definitely do another video um, explaining that. And um, I hope you guys will find that interesting. So another thing about my lock journey um, is that um, during this time, again, I've always been feeling the urge to want to cut my locks off. Now, I did a video a couple months back speaking about wanting to cut my locks. But then I was like, you know, maybe I should um, wait until after giving birth to see if my locks will be retained, if I would retain my edges, not my locks, but my edges and um, consider at that point if I would cut my locks off and just restart my whole entire journey all over again. But clearly, my baby is three months old now and I still have my locks, even though I'm going through postpartum hair loss. I just thought, you know what, I'm just not going to keep doing this over and over because it is what it is. Just deal with it, keep your hair covered and just keep it moving, let it grow, let it grow, let it grow. 
because after um, you know going through postpartum hair loss twice or three times in the past um, my hair did actually grow back so it's just gonna be another one of those where I just keep riding the wave and let it grow so another thing I want to share about my two years lock journey is um, the fact that I had to cut the locks which are at the front of my head. I decided to cut the locks which were at the front of my head because I was experiencing some terrible, terrible buildup after removing my box braids back in November after my birthday. Now when I started this lock journey, I didn't want to have a center part because I didn't really like my center part in my first lock journey. So I started this one with a side parting. But after going through, um, you know, that nasty experience of build up, I decided to go with the center part. And that was because I wanted the locks in the front of my head to be bigger. And once I um, started to part them out bigger, I realized that a side part wouldn't really work. So I went with the um, center part. And I actually starting to like the center part. It's not so bad after all. <laughs> In saying that, I did reattach some of my old locks from my first lock journey, as well as, you know, some from my second lock journey. I put them back in the front and um, some of them stay and some of them did not. Some of them keep falling out. But the reason why I've got my head covered right now is because I'm going through postpartum hair loss again. And, you know, your girl don't look too cute with no edges. So as well as there's a lot journey going on there is another hair growth journey currently and like i said i did take my box braids out in november and because of my pregnancy my hair has been growing tremendously so with my hair growing there's a lot of new growth at the um roots so every time when i retwist i'm always left with some extra fuzziness i don't know if you can see it right here some extra fuzziness you know look at that all that new growth it's starting to bud so that's three lock journeys in one so I've got my original locks which were which are sorry two years old then I have the new growth which is budding right now it's in the budding phase and I also have some starter locks in the front so yes a lot is going on in my head Oh, and another thing I'd like to mention is that the other day I did a poll in my community section asking my audience how far are they in their lock journey. And it is very interesting to know that a lot of you are within your first three months of your lock journey. Don't worry, guys. Even though I am two years locked, I am still within my first three months in the front of my hair. So, you know we are on this journey together and those who are within their 12 to 24 months in their lock journey we are there also okay and those who are within their three to six months of their lock journey this section here i'm with you i'm with you so we are all in this together no matter what stage you're at because i am there with you also okay so that's it for today i hope you guys enjoyed today's video and if you did then please make sure to like comment share and subscribe if you are not already subscribed so until next week sunday at 5 p.m we will be right back here with another video bye